So, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to look at the situation. Was Kanye throwing a shot? Or was he just basically using a sample that he enjoyed? I mean, the song is from 2010. And is Drake being kind of a bitch? I mean, we understand how sampling go. You got to get it cleared or you can't make the record. We understand that. So my understanding is if he used a sample and the song is out, it's not up for sale or anything, you know, but I think you still somehow, some way have to get a sample cleared if it is for purchase, you know what I mean? So who knows with that? But I was asked, do I think that it was Kanye taking a shot at Drake and was Drake reply kind of a shot at him hinting that he's gonna I guess remix the song or something like that I mean he could it's his uncle shit he can have 40 just whip up a nice beat you know sample but I don't know I look at the situation like I already stated a while ago I told y'all that it wasn't over between Drake and uh, Kanye throwing shots at each other I told y'all that you feel me? I was like, yo, they may be quiet, but I'm telling you, they still make fun of each other in records and say little shit. You gotta remember what Kanye said. His only competition was Drake. He still, for some reason, feels that way. If you look at, you know, the, the super megastar Drake has become, and Kanye was kind of, you know, in that spot. So, who knows? Kanye is a Gemini. You know, I'm a Gemini. So, sometimes we can do, I guess, petty shit. But, at the end of the day, I think Kanye is making music. You know, at 2010, like, that's what, when Drake first came in the game, you know what I mean? I don't know if he knew that was Drake's, you know, uncle, who knows, but at the end of the day, I think the production and the sample was still kind of used back then, but like I said, it's a finished product, so who knows? Ye could have went back and grabbed certain elements to, you know, he put it at the beginning of the record and towards the end of the record, so who knows? But at the end of the day, um... Drake kind of responded with, you know, showing the original, you know, uh, vinyl of that song. And I heard the original, I wouldn't listen to it, and I kind of liked the old school feel of it. You know, I was like, okay, this is pretty, you know, some shit my mom and pops and grandparents probably listened to back in the day, you dig? It's cool, but I don't really think Drake should make anything out of it. You know, I mean, No More Parties in L.A., it's a good song. You know, um, Drake doing what he doing as far as his... Um, career and I don't really think he should like pay attention to that kind of like little shit because I think that if he do jump out the window and, and make something out of nothing because it seemed like it's something out of nothing unless Ye kind of you know went I went back to the song I don't really think he took poke like no fun at you know Drake or any artist and that's the part I was listening to to see if it was but who knows I mean Drake could have heard some of the song that he personally know that we don't know but I mean only line I could think of that Kanye said was the line about the other MCs, you know, but then when you break down the whole hip hop industry, who really is, you know, at the top of the heap? It ain't that many rappers up there. You maybe can say three to five, that's it. But at the end of the day, we all personally know that Ye looks at his only competition in hip hop is Drake. You know what I mean? So who knows what let's go come from this. Um the way Drake posted it, it seemed like the way he said it, a few more parties in LA. Is he may go and do a song? You know, could he use a sample in a different light? You know what I mean? Is Forty a better producer than Kanye? We all know Drake has amazing records that we all love. You know, but producing is one thing, but being the king of sampling is another thing. Like, I don't think nobody sample records better than Kanye. I don't give a fuck who it is. You know, and that's arguable, it's debatable, but the way he uses the certain soulful samples is just incredible. Of course, there's a million producers I can name that use the samples in a way, but nobody does it like Kanye West, though. Like, he really brings the soul out of that, you know, song and actually creates from that sample a great body of work. You feel me? So I don't really know if any producers out there is doper at soul sampling than him. That's just my personal opinion. But as um, far as Drake, I think the fans still waiting on views. And we kind of getting down to the wire, man. Like, yo, what is he going to do? Because as a fan, we know Ye come 
or dropping February 11th. Boom, we know that. You know, um, January is almost over with. February be here, no time. So I'm like, is it gonna be class of the dates? That would be dope. Drake drops with Kanye, that'd be kind of epic. You know what I mean? We seen that in 2013 with um, J. Cole Wale and no, Mac Miller, Kanye, and J. Cole, I do believe. Or oh, Wale, Kanye, and J. Cole. I forget, but y'all know that year. You know, that was my birthday, and I thought that was pretty incredible. But, I mean, I don't know. I just think the, the music is, should speak for itself. You know, it just seems like in hip-hop, a lot of people just feel like they're just going at each other for some reason. I mean, this is one thing. And then we got the... um. Well, I'll talk about that in another video. But I don't really think that this is anything to... Be like, oh, this is crazy. You know, that's just what I think. I just think it's just really nothing at the end of the day. But the fans gonna blow it up out of proportion. They already talking about it on every blog. So, I mean, I just feel like sometimes the public and us as you know critics of music can kind of take something small and turn it into a fucking you know big event when it ain't really that. But what do y'all think about it? that's just what I think? I don't think it's really nothing. I think it's just some bullshit. You know, I don't really think Drake paying attention to it, and I don't think Kanye really did that as a shot, but who who knows? Only those two know, you feel me? But that's just what I think about that. Let's talk about something else.